Hello and welcome, my name is Ivan Place and these are Destructible Buildings. Now in Ravenfield. They explode and then they just despawn. Yeah. Turrets don't fall down, but that's to be expected. And these shards, we can actually walk on them and use them to go up. This is taking a while to despawn. Okay, let's see, is this even worse? Wow. How are you holding up there, buddy? Everything cool? Yeah, this wall took two hits. And this is just amazing. I was so surprised to see this in Ravenfield. This is a custom map, of course. This is not an official Ravenfield beta or something. And it was made by Wovcheg. You can actually get that map from the Steam Workshop, just like this one, which I already showed up maybe three videos ago, which also has destructible walls. And as I was informed, I think it was in the comments on YouTube, uh, this is possible because the walls are custom vehicles. Look at that. You can just enter quad. So what Wovcheg did he took uh, the quad, replaced it with a wall vehicle that cannot move, that cannot be entered. Because if we tell our buddy to enter this quad, he doesn't do anything. And we cannot... I'm pressing F, nothing happens. So he just made a vehicle with no seats, but a destructible model. And that's why we can just blow them up. And of course, this is probably not very scalable. At some point, you're gonna have horrible performance impact, I'm sure. But if there's just a little bit, maybe 100 walls, that might be actually awesome and fun. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Really impressive, I gotta say. Just look at this blasted wall. So that's how it works. You just hold down G, or in my case Z, and you can see all the elements that make this possible. And it is quite impressive because this is an environment that can be changed that bots actually respond to. Because, for example, if we're doing a Spec Ops mission, then the bots actually will not look through walls. Wait, are they? Oh, we just they just see the enemy, I think. Hey! Ah, that darn al alarm sound. In current beta, if you do this, if you play this map, uh, there is a bug that makes AI just sh see everybody through vehicles and shoot, try to shoot through vehicles, so you better not... you better not use the beta for this level yet. Uh, I mean, eventually it'll be fixed, I'm sure. For now, we can actually try to take out the enemy by destroying walls. Yeah, yeah. Nice. About the barrels, they obviously are also vehicles. I mean, look at this. Now they, they have different names, like numbers. Uh, and this is called MG, so the barrels are based on the machine gun. That's fun. Yeah, fall down, buddy. Fall down. So that's how it works. By the way, I'm using the M21 by Flaum and the gorgeous M282 Flash by General Salmon. Go, hello. No, 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 oh no. <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. Oh, and this vehicle is here for some reason. That is cool also. And it's actually called a Jeep. By the way, custom vehicles on maps currently do work uh, in non-beta branch. That is pretty awesome. But, you know, the global mods don't. So what I wanted to try is, do these explode from normal bullets? Ye oh yeah, and they also do damage, that's awesome! What they however do not do is do damage to walls. It's probably simply because they don't do enough damage. Um, Alright, we're gonna... Gonna do this. And I'm gonna just tell people to go somewhere. What? What? This doesn't rotate! No! What? 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 No! Come on, team. All right, let's actually do this. Let's blow stuff up. So this is pretty awesome, right? How you can destroy stuff. 
What is even more awesome is that Vovchek explains his method completely. He just tells us how it works, how he does it. So you can also make your map with a destructible environment. Wow. We're gonna take a look at that in a moment. No, 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 no. Okay, they're using that building. That is uh, nice. I still have three squad mates. Yeah, how do you like your building now? That's right. It's nothing but ashes and dust. Yeah. Eat this! This is a weird weapon to aim with. Okay, I'm out of bullets. Actually, maybe we did win. Hmm, we probably did. Yeah, here we go. Okay, we're gonna actually go back to the beta branch now because there's one more thing I need to show you. Also by Vovcheg. He is really breaking some walls right now. What we have here is a not yet released plane vehicle mod. It is a voxel plane. It is a blocky plane. That's basically it. It has a uh, gear missing. There's this rear gear which is a bit weird. And you're gonna find out what the deal is with this plane in just a second. Let's engage in combat. Alright, here we go. Let's just slow down a little. And a little more. Look at this, look at this. Look, what, what have we here? What is that? Let's try to find out. Where is our target? Is that our target, perhaps? Could be. Yeah, it is. Look at that. And look what we can do now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, okay, that was not well done. Uh, we are both going down now. All right, I'll show you with the next one. Huh, did we just take off some of it part? Yeah, we totally did. Let's get closer and see what's, what's happening to this plane. As you can see, the end of its left wing is chipped off. It's not very easy to see, but you can kind of make it out. Let's see. Yeah, okay, what else? What else? Oh yeah, we took off its rear! We took off its freaking tail! Look at that, but it's still kind of flying. I mean, it's gonna get down definitely now. But that's what this vehicle is all about. You can take apart this plane just the way you can take apart these buildings we saw earlier. And that is Vovcheg's current project, so far unreleased. I mean, at the time of me recording this video, at least. Maybe by now you can find it actually on the Steam Workshop. Oh no, somebody took... What did they take off? They took off something. My flight behavior totally changed just now. I'm just falling backwards now. Hello? Okay. Okay, okay, here we go. Wow! <laughs> no! What are you doing, you maniacs? Oh, man. And there was even another one. If that had not been enough, there would be another plane storming in into me. Jeez. This map, by the way, is called Sky and was made by Jing Yang. It's perfect for testing airplanes, except for the fog. It's a bit hard to see at times. All right, teammate, you'll have to suff. What? 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 Look at that! One wing clean off, and now it just there's no hope for that thing anymore. Yeah, that's what this mod can do. Pretty amazing, pretty impressive. I really have no idea how yet, but I guess if. Ouch. I guess if the flight behavior is actually physically simulated, then you just remove stuff and that's enough. I'm really curious how it works. Speaking of being curious, Vovchik posted instructions on how to exactly do this on Discord. We're gonna try this out real quick. As per usual, we start with the Rainfields tool pack. This is the beta branch. We're gonna extract as per usual. In we go and we're just gonna call this Destructo. Get in there and now we boot up Unity and just open. 
we just copy this path and put it right in here. All right, we're gonna open up the example scene. We're gonna move over to the blue spawn point, which is over here, I believe. We're gonna create two cubes. We're gonna call this cube by pressing F2. We're gonna call it object A. And we're gonna duplicate it by pressing Control D or Control C and then Control V or on Mac Command D, etc., etc. F2 again, and we're gonna call this destroyed object. Now destroyed object needs rigid body and uh, box collider. Let's see. Rigid body and box collider. Mass is supposed to be 30 and object A also needs a box collider. Oh, it already has one. Actually, this one has two now. So let's remove this one. My bad. Now we're gonna go to prefabs and uh, vehicles. From here we're gonna get the machine gun, uh, which I think we need to drag it in. Gonna move us down here, open it up. Here we go. And we're gonna delete everything except for gun parent. Yeah, yeah. And camera, camera, delete. And then we're gonna go inside of gun parent and delete this too. We're gonna set this to zero, zero, zero. And we're gonna move object A over here as a child of gun parent. And we're gonna set its position also to zero, zero, zero. Okay, now we're gonna duplicate object A with control D again. I guess I'm gonna move destroyed object into gun parent as well. Also, let's rename this to uh, wall parent. And destroyed object also gonna have uh, zero 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 when we click on machine gun which i'm going to rename to wall actually wall preset and we're going to look for the scripts let's see mounted turret let's remove that remove component audio source also remove component but the vehicle script is interesting we're going to set seats to zero we're going to call this thing wall i'm going to allow a small arms damage Set it to 0.5. Remove the can be repaired after death. Max health, let's say 250. Remove can capture points. We're gonna open up disable on death. And yeah, this is good. It should be two. And this is wall parent. That is good. And the other one should be object, object A1 in the scene. Then let's look at activate on death. Should be set to one. And here we're gonna pick from the scene, destroyed object. Now I'm gonna just drag it in here, wall preset, maybe preset is a superfluous title, gonna remove this. Now we're gonna go to map elements in uh, prefabs, get the vehicle spawner and set this to the prefab wall preset. Preset is so wrong, it should be called prefab. Anyways, spawn time to zero, and uh, after, yeah, never. Let's never respawn it. Oh boy, let's see if this works. Let's uh, map, control E, control T, all right, control E. Actually, there's one thing I forgot to do. Let's see, where is that vehicle wall preset? Let's go in there, wall preset. Ah, yeah, okay. We're gonna have to fix this. Let's get the wall preset back in here. We're gonna have to go to the destroyed object and we're gonna have to disable it. All right, and now we can save it as a prefab. Let's rename this to prefab and remove this. And remove this and make sure that the vehicle spawner spawns the wall prefab. All right, we need to disable, initially disable the rigid body. All right, export again. Come on, come on. It worked. I mean, something worked. Okay, can we damage it with this? It, it does take damage and it just disappears. Okay, as we could see, basically disabling a parent disables all its children. So the problem here is, let's 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 get this back in here. Wall prefab, we're gonna have to manipulate this. We're gonna have to make sure the destroyed object is under wall prefab and not under wall parent. Yep, let's do this. So here we go. I still don't know why we have object A1. I think we might, we could have just remove this. Anyways, destroyed object now has to be disabled. That should be it. We're gonna drag this back in here. We're gonna delete this. 
and we're gonna rename this back to wall prefab and this is gonna get deleted and this is gonna spawn the wall uh, missing is gonna be wall wall prefab all right let's go compile and test all right so this might not be looking so interesting so let's make sure that this thing actually falls into pieces. For this, we're gonna use a Blender. We're gonna use the default block. We're gonna use Cell Fracture, the plugin. And we're just gonna have, let's say four pieces. Let's say three pieces and own vertices. And okay, so we have various objects over here. Let's rename them to all kinds of stuff. We're gonna call this block, block. This is gonna be block piece one, block piece two, and block piece free. Always re rename your things. And we're gonna save this in assets and uh, models. Let's see, do we have models? Yeah, let's just save it in models. And this model is gonna be called Destructo. And now we're gonna drag in the wall prefab once again. And we're gonna get the Destructo model. And I think we can get, yeah, we can get the block. We can get the P. Wait a second, what? Never mind, this is not what I want, but. Yeah, this is what I want. I want these pieces. Now they do have the problem that they don't have a proper material, but we're gonna hopefully take care of that. So we are just going to drag in these four things. We're gonna make them child of uh, wall parent. I'm gonna remove object A, object A1. Don't need that anyhow. Let's just ensure they are all positioned at zero, zero, zero. Block piece three also zero, zero, zero. Uh, I don't like how this is, like, broken, but it's fine. It's gonna be broken anyways. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag these block pieces as child children of a destroyed object. And the destroyed object, uh, like, these are enabled. This is gonna be still disabled. Here we're gonna remove everything. We're gonna remove the box collider. Whatever. 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 And these things... Now they need Box Collider. And they need Rigid Body. Each of them. Box Collider. Box Collider. Rigid Body. And Rigid Body. Okay, this should be, f this should be it. I mean, if we enable this, we see what happens. If we uh, disable it, we see what... Uh, it was before. Now let's just, uh, I mean, we can keep it pink, but let's give it a decent material instead. I'm just gonna use the material I can find in models. And then I'm gonna make the stored object visible and drag the same material on all the other pieces. Uh, yeah, so the positioning of the pieces, that's for you to figure out how to fix that. Destroy object, we're gonna remove that to even make it even more clear wall uh, solid and this is then wall broken and in wall prefab we have to adjust it we have to change this script we will have to disable on death only one but enable on death activate on death free this is gonna be wall solid yeah that's good actually no only one we only have to enable wall broken perfect so now, as per usual, we're gonna go to Assets, Prefabs, uh, Vehicles. We're gonna drag in Wall Prefab, delete the old one, rename this one. You can also keep the old copies and delete this in the scene. And then this vehicle spawner is gonna spawn the new Wall Prefab. And the reason why you would want to keep them is because you might be making mistakes and making it worse. So that way you would have old versions available. And Control e to export and Control t to test. Here it is. Let's break it into pieces. This is my last resort. Of course I forgot. And what I forgot was we can fix, I think, this way. Just click on this thing, wall prefab, double click wall solid, and add component um, box collider. That should fix it. Break my box into pieces. This is my last resort. Yes! Haha! <laughs> it freaking finally worked! Awesome! You know what this means. Well, first of all, we have to crank up that mass. Oh no, we cannot modify the mass unless we drag it in. 
and open it up and go to wall broken and set all of these to 30. Yeah, that was that we should have done that initially. Doing that, make the small wall prefab back in, remove this one and remove this one and rename this one again because that's what I do. And then this one we're gonna update this again, wall pref... Oh, come on. Wall prefab. And what we're gonna do now is just duplicate this, duplicate and some more and some more and some more. And if you have the sizes kind of exact, then you you can uh, like look at the exact positions to figure out exactly where the seams are. Maybe that would be the solution. Break my box into pieces. This is my last resort. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Hey, let's build a ladder. We can totally do that now. Oh yeah. Let's jump and jump and I forgot that I cannot jump that high. Nope. It doesn't work. Yeah, so these things do have collision boxes. Yeah, we can weirdly look through, but it's it's okay. Maybe we should have changed the collision model or whatever. And the the pieces that fall off, they don't despawn, do they? I'm not really sure about that. Should they? And then we can use this to blow them up. And I presume this. There we go. Yeah, the pieces do despawn. I don't really understand how that works, but they they do apparently. Unless they just flew all over the place. But I doubt that's the... Yeah, they just despawned. So that is it. That is Vovchek's method. And that is how this amazing stuff can actually work. And VI respects the stuff and walks all over it too. It's pretty amazing. If only this could cause damage to them, that would be an extra upgrade. That would be even nicer. <laughs> Look at that, that would... Hey, it kind of... I mean, it does make them fall. Nice! Oh yeah, that explosion. <laughs> awesome. Oh, it's beautiful to break some buildings. Whoa! That was a b big one. This is just awesome. Also, this reminds me of Phantom Brigade, a mech game which also has destructible environment, destructible buildings. If you haven't watched that video, you should check it out. Yeah, here for example. <laughs> Stupid low damage, actually. But still a lot of fun. Here we go. Ah, complete miss. But, you know, destroying buildings is just a lot of fun. Alright, let's try to finish this match. Oh! From the ruins, from the ashes, they have returned. No, you may not. Fall down, bud! Fall down! Alright, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I love this. I wish I had an ammo pack somewhere. I need to reload this thing. Come on now. Ah, oh, they did the same thing. They actually destroyed it. I think this... Did they just use standard bullets? Could that be? Hey... Hey, barrel! Whoa, they do a lot of damage. But only if you stand right next to them. Not to the buildings right next to them. Stop using that machine gun. You're drunk. That's right. Yeah, no, you may not. Radical solution, but it works. No, he's still alive! No! Will you cut... Will you cut it out? No hiding in the building. That's my strategy. See, they even use bill... Look at this! They're actually using this as cover. This is ingenious. This is amazing. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Storm the front! Come on, take the flag, man. Take the flag. Yeah, man, just look at this. Because we destroyed all the surrounding buildings, they are now so much in the open, they just get killed whenever they try to leave their base, and they are basically doomed to die. Oh! Whoa! Strong wall. Good thing it still stands. But they are... Really, they are doomed to die, this map. They are doomed to die in this match. They ain't got a chance. 
And they are done. Let's uh, check out the result. Yep, this is pretty much our base. And oh my goodness, these things really do not despawn, do they? Amazing stuff. Thank you very much for checking out Destructible Environments by Wovcheck with me. I hope you had fun and I hope you make some of your own in case you're a map maker. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, ciao!